Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Recently I posted some watercolor paintings on my Instagram account and since then you have been asking me to make a watercolor painting tutorial. Uh, as you may know, my main medium is graphite pencils and I must admit I do not have that much experience with watercolor as I do with pencils. But at least I can show you my process of painting, to show you the process I learned to follow and what tools I'm using for it, so hopefully it will be helpful for you as well. And no matter what medium I'm using, I always lay out the basic outlines first using H, H, B or F pencil to create thin light lines that won't be visible in the final drawing or painting. I usually start painting with a larger round paintbrush size 9 and as the watercolor is a water-based medium I always use the color with little amount of water and I always try the tones on a special piece of paper before applying it. Uh, there are actually many ways and many techniques of using the water with the color so please keep in mind this is only the way I do it. I like to start with painting the larger areas and then redefine the shapes and come to the little details later. You guys know I'm so in love with drawing little details and highlights, especially uh, the texture of the skin and the structure of the iris and so on. And I also start with the lightest values and then I add more layers with darker tones. It is always so magical how all the shapes come into life while it is all drying and shaping into the final result, the final look. Uh, it is so different from the graphite pencils and that is what I love about watercolors the most actually. You never know how the water will get into touch with the color and the paper and what shapes it will get in the end but it's all settled down and makes the painting even more special because there is always something unrepeatable in each piece. For painting the smaller areas, creating details and texture, I'm usually using this small paintbrush, uh, number zero. It has very few hairs, so it can create really nice thin lines. Um, uh, usually uh, creating the details uh, when the first layer dries, because otherwise the color would just merge with the background and I wouldn't be able to paint any structure in it with lines.
So that is all from me for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because many new videos are coming soon. Also don't forget to turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss any of my new content. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!